Eva wondered how some people manage to work just 4 hours a week somewhere from Bali and earn much more than others. You are about to find out. Today I am unpacking a bit controversial but very intriguing book The 4 Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. This isn't just a book, it's a life philosophy, a mindset shift and a blueprint for living life on your own terms. But firstly, let's address the elephant in the room. The title The 4 Hour Work Week it's provocative, isn't it? Is it really possible to have 4-hour work week? Well, Tim Ferriss argues that with the right tools and mindset, absolutely. But more than the literal number of hours, this book is about maximizing productivity and minimizing wasted time. At its core, the 4-hour work week is about the new rich, a term coined by Tim Ferriss. Now, who are the new rich? They aren't necessarily millionaires or billionaires. They are people like you and me, who've learned how to break free from the controversial norms, maximizing their life experiences and minimizing unnecessary effort. Tim Ferriss offers a four-step acronym that provides the fundamental structure of this philosophy. D-E-A-L – DEAL D for delegation. We often think that we need to do everything ourselves. But what if we could delegate tasks that don't match our unique skills? With the rise of the internet, global outsourcing has become a game changer. Whether it's personal tasks or business related, platforms like Upwork, Fiverr and many others allow you to tap into a global talent pool. Imagine having someone manage your emails or even do groceries for you. It's not only about freeing time, it's about focusing on what you are best at. E for elimination. In our hyper-connected world, we are drowned in a sea of emails, tasks, messages and meetings. But here is the thought. Not everything's urgent is important. The 80-20 principle, also known as the Pareto principle, suggests that 80% of results comes from the 20% of the effort. Can you eliminate the tasks that fall in unproductive 80%? Can you say no to the meetings that don't align with your goals? A for automation. How much of your day is consumed by repetitive tasks? Paying bills, sending routine emails, scheduling? That's where automation comes in. Today we have tools for almost every repetitive task imaginable. From auto bill payments to email responders and even automated investment tools, the possibilities are endless. L for liberation. This isn't just about freeing up time. It's about freeing yourself. Have you dreamed of living in Bali for a month? Or maybe exploring the forests of Costa Rica? Liberation is about having the mobility and freedom to work from anywhere, living life on your terms. You might be wondering, all this sounds good in theory, but how do you actually apply it? Here is the thing, it's not about one size fits all approach. It's a framework. Begin by evaluating what tasks can you delegate. Maybe start by outsourcing one task this week. Next, review your weekly schedule. What can you eliminate? As you make these shifts slowly, integrate automation tools. But let's be clear, the goal isn't to be fully passive. It's to redirect our time and energy into pursuits we are passionate about. Maybe it's spending time with family, traveling, or maybe even started this passion project you've been thinking about for a while. If you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to subscribe to Shortcut for more insightful content. And hey, what's the one task you wish you could delegate or eliminate? Let me know in the comments. So, the 4-hour work week is more than just a book. It's a mindset. It challenges the norms we've all accepted about work and life. Life doesn't have to be the traditional grind. By being smart about how you spend your time, you can achieve more by doing less. Challenge yourself this week to eliminate one unnecessary task from your routine and see the difference it makes. Speaking of mindsets, ever felt like you are constantly surrounded by, well, Idiots? That's the concept of another fascinating book, Surrounded by Idiots by Thomas Erickson. Click here to watch my deep dive into understanding different personalities and how to work with them. Trust me, it's a game changer. And I catch you in the next one.